what brought you to that, that point in your life where you were experiencing homelessness. My father, um, not gonna get into him, but uh, he was really drunk and so he picked me up from school. And so he's driving and cops are following and he got arrested. I was actually given the option to either stay with him or I could go leave. Basically, I wanted to leave. So I'm like, okay, cool. There's a bunch in between there again I can't really talk about. Sure. But really, like on people's kindness, I found my way to Seattle. People have the wrong idea as far as what it's like being a homeless youth. A lot of people have this like underlying belief that we're sitting there doing nothing all day. That because we're homeless, it's we're not working hard, we're not getting a job, we're not doing this, we're not doing that. Quite frankly, the hardest working people I've ever seen in my life are in these shelters. There are people that are working two jobs while they're staying in the shelter. I really want people to know that there's more going on than just, I don't have money or I don't have a house. Panhandling, for example, uh, you don't always, you want the money, but sometimes you just want someone not to ignore you. So where would you be or where do you think you would be uh, if you hadn't found the why? I think I'd have a lot harder time accomplishing the things I want to. I would not be as far ahead as I am now. This is probably the most amazing place you can live. I've been in different situations, and here I can focus, I can get stuff done. I got a job as a sales, uh, in a sales position, and I recently got promoted as this wonderful person. That's fantastic. I really want to say like thanks to the Y and like what they've done. That's awesome. That's really, really awesome. I think a reason why I love the why so much is that it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, purple, orange, brown. The YMCA has something for you, you know, because everybody's got stuff going on. The fact that organizations like this exist, uh, it's, it's freaking amazing, man. And, and hearing this has just been uh, it's, it's been profound and, and inspiring on so many levels. So uh, I just, I have to thank you completely for being so open and honest. I'm really, really honored.